Hi there guys, welcome to an episode of Skywalk. In today's episode, we are going to be making an automated mushroom farm. Now, we need this because we have the challenge which requires a lot of mushroom stew, okay? So, let's get started. What you need is two depth by six width by two length hole thingy, whatever, okay? Then you're gonna need some hoppers that are facing into each other and to do this, you do it like so, okay? Then what you do is you get a comparator, put it on the opposite side. Then you put a block of your choice, your building block, or any block at all, then redstone, then a pist uh, sticky pistons attached to the redstone, then a redstone block placed onto one of the sticky pistons. Then you need to fill your hoppers up with five stacks of certain uh, certain item. So it's passing through constantly, making a timer or whatever you call it. Okay. Then we need a torch and we are going to place that on top of this one and we're going to put a block on top of it like so and then we're going to make a u shape then we cover that in redstone okay um next part is we're going to need a mycelium or you're going to need some pods or something that you can grow mushrooms on. You can use cobble of course like I was doing before or any block that has a that you know that you will block all the light out of or if you don't want to do that you can use mycelium or pods or because the mushrooms will grow on it no matter what the light level is. So I'm going to use mycelium because I have got that through my mushroom challenge. Okay, sorry, I had to get some glass really quickly. Um, okay, so we put some glass here, like so. Um, we can cover this up to make it look nice. I suppose I should make it cobble, unless I change the floor so it's not cobble. Yeah, let's just do it with diorite for now. I don't think it blocks the signal. Let's hope not, at least. Um, If we do that, so if I quickly go here, oh, there's a hole there. If I do that, okay, it doesn't block the signal. That's good. Okay, we'll soon figure it out if it does, or we'll soon find out if it does anyway. <laughs> if it doesn't work, okay. Then you want some more pistons on here. Put some glass on the sticky pistons. Then you want to make. Kind of T-shape like so. Then here, put some more puzzle. Uh, some more mycelium. And here, put some more mycelium like so. Um. Then get our mushrooms. One type of mushroom. I just realised I don't have any brown mushrooms. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. So then we put these like here so then after a bit they will grow on this block here and this block here and the pistons will push it off into a hopper which we're gonna put here and i didn't make a chest so let's quickly make a chest just here and we're gonna feed the hoppers into the chest okay and then what you can do I suppose just cover it up so it looks nice I also have this this is a bit of a, a danger zone because I didn't know how much space this would take up um, so yeah that that's just one we will make a brown one on this side too. 
Okay. Okay, now to make the brown mushroom one, all we have to do here, we don't have to make another clock thingy. We can... If we just make the redstone go over, um, and we don't mess it up when we're walking over, literally just do exactly the same thing. So we're going to make another U shape, like here, like so, and then, okay, then we're going to put a glass here and here, then we're going to put pistons on the top, attach glass to the pistons, make a shape so mine out these here put my in here then make a T shape then uh okay then we want our hoppers and we want another chest let's quickly make another chest okay feed the hop oops feed the hoppers into the chest like so, then you place mushroom here and here, under that glass there, and under this glass here. Okay, another thing uh, that you can do is make some slabs. Uh, okay, and you just basically, you put them everywhere around here, so mushrooms won't spawn anywhere else so you just make it light unless you are trying to make it really dark then you're gonna have to block it all in and make sure the light source is below whatever level it's supposed to be I don't know what it is I'm sorry um I need more so I make some more. oh I probably made too many <laughs> oh well Okay, so these around here like so. You can also put them in the middle. So I might as well make the hole forward. Let's just make the whole thing wood. Why not? Okay, um looks good unless we broke it did we break it I don't really know I'm not sure guys is it just really slow I think it is just really slow okay then so yep yeah. now I guess I just need to remake my wall really quickly Okay, then my wall is done. It's a bit odd. <laughs> I suppose I'll make it pretty at some point. <laughs> um, okay, so I have to go get myself some brown mushrooms um, from somewhere. Uh, just quickly block that up. I feel like it should block the redstone signal, shouldn't it? I just block this up, this unblock this side too. Um. Okay, let's just. Can we just go like this? That won't block it, will it? And. Here. Only problem is we cannot put redstone on it. Okay, there we go. Perfect, right? <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> okay. Um. So. Okay. Hopefully they will grow, and and it will work. Okay, we will find out. Let's go do some other things now, right? So my mob farm is still working quite nice. I made it bigger so I can walk all the way 
around the edge to kill them easier. Um, I get a bit of everything, really. If we look in here, get, um, what do we get? We get keys. We get arrows from skeletons, bone from skeletons, gunpowder from creepers, get plenty of creepers. Then we get rotten flesh from zombies, possible iron and carrots from them. Then we get witches, which drop glowstone, potions, redstone, sugar, glass bottles, yeah, whatever, sticks. Spiders who drop string and spider eyes, endermen who drop ender pearls. This is just from when I, I put carpet on top of the hoppers, but it, I always kept knocking it off. <laughs> um, music disc, skeleton must have killed a creeper or something else. Um, potatoes from zombies, yeah, so that's good. This is still going good. Um, let's go upstairs. Next farm will be the sugar cane farm. In the next episode, this is what that is what we'll do. Um, cactus farm is still going quite nicely. I'm I was going to put a tree farm here. I think. I think that's what I will put here, or something. I added a second layer to whoops to the farm that we built last episode. So there's carrots there and potatoes. Oopsie and potatoes here. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Whoops. Yeah. Okay. So I built the glass up here. So when it when the water brushes it all down, it falls down into the hoppers. It's just go here. Um and. Obviously the redstone has to go up and lead into the draw dispensers or droppers, whichever one we had, I, yeah, I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember what they are. Um, yeah, so everything is still going good. Next episode will be the sugarcane farm. And... They still haven't grown. Oh, how long does it take them? That's okay. Um, I'm gonna have to go probably buy some myself some brown mushrooms. And fingers crossed this works. It should do. I haven't tried it yet, but let's hope for the best. And I will let you know in the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs>